Facebook will report third quarter results this week, and to prepare we're going to do an analysis of the consensus estimates relative to management's guidance. You can get the management guidance from the investor relations page if you go to last quarter's earnings conference call transcript, and then you can scroll down to page 10. You'll see the items that we've highlighted here are the few things that they do give us guidance for. And we're going to put that guidance into our Facebook earnings model. If you're new to our Facebook model, it follows a similar approach as with our other companies. In the upper left hand corner we have a valuation summary which includes our price earnings market multiple based valuation and our discounted cash flow valuation. Below that is the income statement which we forecast based on um, gap estimates as well as non-gap estimates. The model is color coded so anywhere you see an orange cell those represent consensus estimates. Blue cells represent our estimates and then purple cells represent company guidance and anywhere you see guidance you'll also see a note that gives a full range um, if, if that's available. So the income statement is driven by our segment details and you can see in the segments we break everything out by um, geography so we have monthly active users for each region and then we have average revenue per user for each region so you can see that the revenue for US and Canada for example is simply taking the monthly active users and applying the average revenue for each one of those users. So 215 million users times $9 per user per quarter equals 1.9 billion for US and Canada for, for the third quarter. Below the segment details we have some ratio analysis followed by a breakdown of the non-GAAP adjustments. Then below the income statement segment details we have our full balance sheet, some balance sheet ratios, our cash flow statement, some cash flow statement ratios, and then our price earnings multiple valuation summary, and our discounted cash flow valuation summary. So scrolling back up to the income statement, we can get into the guidance now. The first item that management gave us on, on last quarter's call was total expenses. So they lump in cost of goods sold with operating expenses. And they say that they expect the year-over-year -year 2015 gap expenses to be between 55 and 60 percent growth from last year. So if we go down to our expense section, you can see that we calculate these two um, expense year-over-year -year growth rates based on both gap expenses and non-gap expenses. And the way we've set our gross margin and operating margin assumptions, we are hitting that target. So for gap expenses we have 59 percent growth which represents the high end of management's guidance and for non-GAAP we have 54.9 percent so again high end of guidance and the reason you're seeing the high end here is because we're trying to get our bottom line EPS to be in line with consensus estimates so basically in order to get back to that consensus EPS um, uh, estimate we need to have those higher expenses but you can change that if you want to download this model and put your own assumptions in. The, the next item they guide to is capital expenditures between 2.5 and 3 billion so that is in our cash flow statement you can see we set it to the midpoint at 2.7 billion for the year. Then stock based compensation they expect to be in the range of 3 to 3.3 billion that is in our non-GAAP summary below the segment details. And you can see we set that one equal to the midpoint. Then they guide expected amortization expenses between 700 and 800 million. And we have again met the midpoint there with 750 for the full year. And the last item they give us is gap and non-gap tax rates consistent with the second quarter. So you can see we set the third and fourth quarter consistent with the second quarter results. So now having put all that guidance in you can see that we do come back to the consensus estimates for the third quarter as well as the fourth quarter. Um, but there there are some things that you could change and see what the final results would be. For example, you may want to get to the midpoint of the total expense ratios rather than the highs. Um, so if you'd like to download this model, it's available for free on our website, gutenbergresearch.com, and you can plug those estimates in. You just click on the Free Models tab, 
register and then you'll have access to all of our earnings models. You can scroll down to Facebook and just click this button to download it. And be sure to check back after this quarter's results when we update this model and uh, post the results. And if you found this analysis useful, we follow a similar approach with all the companies that we cover. So please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and good luck with the release.